So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here of course and today is another quick video and this is in response to a lot of questions I received about ES File Explorer. So if you guys have noticed recently, if you go to the Google Play Store and you search for ES File Explorer, it doesn't show up. You get a lot of recommendations, a lot of different applications, suggestions, whatever the case is, but plain and simple, ES File Explorer is no longer available in the Google Play Store and there's a big story behind it, controversy behind it and I'm going to jump over to TroyPoint.com. I will be linking this article in the description where you guys can go ahead and check it out. So essentially what's going on is ES File Explorer has been clicking ads without the user's consent or permission. I know that kind of sounds crazy but that's what they were doing to generate revenue and uh, once Google got a hold of this they essentially just removed it from the store so no sense if that's coming back. So let's dive into the article a little bit. So Troy Point he writes uh, plenty of streamers across the world have noticed issues accessing and installing ES File Explorer as of late. Currently it's not available on Google Play Store and the reports have indicated that the company who owns ES File Explorer DO Global was clicking ads in the user's apps without permissions. So Deal Global responded to these claims with the following statements. So in the past week, we've noticed that series of report about our apps by the media. We seriously understand the seriousness of the allegations. As such, we immediately conducted an internal investigation onto this matter. So you guys can go ahead and read the full explanation of what's going on, but essentially they got busted clicking ads in the background without the users actually clicking their ads. And when Google got a hold of this, they essentially moved the ES File Explorer from the Google Play Store. So big shout out to Troy Point. Like I said, I'll link that article in the description. Having said that, I know a lot of you guys still use ES File Explorer. You don't care about articles. You don't care what's going on in the background. And this is definitely something I want to hear in the comment section below. Is this enough to essentially make you say, forget ES File Explorer, I'm going to use something else. So even though this seems like it's not affecting you essentially because they're just clicking ads in the background. So what this does, it opens the door for them to do other things without your permission, guys. And that's what it boils down to. So what's next? Are they going to look at your stories, look at your photos, look at your passwords? So this is something that I understand why Google went ahead and pulled them from the Play Store. And I I do not blame them. So having said that, I completely understand if you want to ditch it and go to something else or if you guys want to use it, I'm still going to show you guys how you can go about getting it if it's not available in your Play Store. So this one's pretty simple. I am on the Nvidia Shield and what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the App Store and we're going to go ahead and um, essentially all you need is a web browser guys. So we're just going to search for the Puffin browser. And there it is right there. So I do have it installed already, but Puffin is a great um, way to access websites to get your APKs essentially, just to be able to install them without using a third party. So we're gonna go to Puffin. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open the Puffin browser. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna search and we're just gonna search for up to down. So up to down is basically a website that hosts a lot of APKs guys. We probably could use the voice function, but we're already in too deep right now. Gonna hit search. And essentially, just gonna do a Google search and we'll bring you to the uh, website. It's en.uptodown.com slash Android. So once you get there, guys, just gonna search for app. And there it is right there, guys. Go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna hit the latest version. I'm gonna hit the green download button. All right, so download it has started. Once the download is started, just hit the back button once. I'm gonna go all the way down to the start page. Go to the left, go to download. All right, you'll see it right there, ES File Explorer from up to down. Click on that. Go ahead and install. App install, let's go ahead and open it. And there we go, 
up and running so uh, that's basically it for this video just a quick run through of what's going on with ES File Explorer I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it and I also show you guys how you can install it if you really need that application and it's not available in your Google Play Store so definitely want to hear your thoughts on this one is ES File Explorer worth downloading do you feel betrayed is it something that you can work around so essentially they do have other uh, applications that can do the same thing and maybe I'll make a follow up video on this but this one is strictly about the issue with ES File Explorer as well as why it was removed from the Google Play Store so drop your comment in the comment section below don't forget to hit that thumbs up share this video thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one